So hello, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to put the text in the hero image and also how to put the call to action button when uh, it is clicked. Uh, let me show you, uh, for example, here, as we looked at before, there's the option to show the call to action or not show it. So there has to be some conditional logic. So that's what we're going to cover in, in, t in this tutorial. So let's get right into there. So we have all this here already. So what we want to do now is output the hero text and that's pretty easy. Just type in our PHP tags and then we're going to call the subfield sub field and then let's just call it uh, hero underscore text and uh, let's put this here. And just incidentally, if you don't know where these subfields are coming from, for example, hero text, if you go back to here, uh, let's go here, and we go to our hero image, you have them all here. These are where all the subfields are. So we, when we say get subfield, and you're not sure which one, you go look here in the name, and these are what they are, okay? So let's just save that. Now let's go back to our web page. And we have our text here, and we have our text there. So what we want now is to put in the the call to action button here, but this one doesn't need one because we select we didn't select one for this one. So let's let's do that now. So what we need to do is go in here, okay, and we need to create uh, an array. Actually, you know what? Let me let me put uh, copy the code in, and then I'll explain it to you because I don't want this tutorial to take two years. So let's go in here. No, let's put space, paste that in. Oh, that's not what I want. You know what? I want it to look neat. So, you know, hey, let's do this. So basically we're putting our PHP tags and that's nothing special. We're creating a variable called selected and we're gonna, that variable called selected equals get the subfield display CTA. And there's gonna be a condition though. If the checkbox, that this is referring to the checkbox equals true, then select, then selected is gonna be, we're gonna get that variable, the information. And if not, like it says here, it will, we just won't show anything. And, um, but if this is true, then we're gonna output this content here. And what, what we're outputting here is a link. So here's our link tags. We're putting it a class of button and we're getting the subfield hero CTA button URL. And we're also getting the subfield hero CTA button text. And that's how we're outputting it. So by putting these few lines of code here, now the text is gonna appear when if if we've selected it. So let's refresh here. You can see there's no button here because we didn't select one. But this one is there because we selected one. It's just not pulling in the code, um, the button code for some reason. So let me figure out why that is. So here I have it this subfield called hero CTA button text. But here I have it just called hero button text. So that's a problem. So let's fix that. Okay, let's save that. And I think that should do it. There it is. Let's fix. So it's just little things like that. And it's useful. So if you, you know, you run into problems like that, just double check your subfields like I did there. It's easy to make a mistake um, because I called all the other ones CTA. I assumed I would have called that one CTA also, but I didn't. I mean, I could go in here and change this one as well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the point is that it's it's working now. So let's go have a, another set quick look at, uh, at our site. So, so far our uh, hero sections are complete. You can see here the button's there here there's no button and um, what we're going to do next 
is uh, in our next tutorial. This was going to be a shorter one. I just wanted to complete the he the hero section, which it is now. And in our next tutorial, we're going to start adding the sections in in between the ones that are the checkerboard pattern. And uh, we'll get to that uh, in our next tutorial. Like I said, so I hope you like this one. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out my website wpbasics.org. And shoot me a comment if you have any questions. Talk to you later. Bye bye.